Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video, I'm going to go over the Windows installation of our Studio One MIDI controller pack for Stream Deck devices. So one of the first things we're going to do, we have to hop onto the web and download a small piece of software that's going to help us align our ports. Now if you've installed one of our other packs in the MIDI controller series, you likely have already gone through the process of downloading Loop MIDI and assigning the ports. You can skip this part if you've already done it. They use the same ports. So opening up your browser of choice, you're going to navigate to this address and the link will be in the description below and it's also here on the screen for you. Make it easy for you to just hop over to it. And you're going to download this piece of software called Loop MIDI. So you just hit the download Loop MIDI and then we're going to double click the Loop MIDI setup. And we want to make sure that the Auto Start Loop MIDI when logging in is selected. Very important, you got to make sure that this uh, always will load up when you restart your computer and that way you don't ever have to worry about aligning the ports every time. And then we'll agree to the license terms, we'll install. Once that's done we're going to launch. So once we've launched, we get this dialog box here. We're going to assign some new ports. So I'll click on the new port name. We're going to overwrite this. And the first one we're going to enter is Mackie to DAW. And it's case sensitive. So it's capital M and capital D. It's Mackie to DAW. And then we hit the plus sign. We've added that port. Do the same thing again. Daw to Mackie. Hit the plus sign. Now we're going to add another. This will be Stream Deck to Daw Track. Once again, being aware of the case sensitivity. Hit the plus sign. And one more. DAW track to Stream Deck. Hit the plus sign. And there you go, we have our four ports all set up. Now we can just set this off to the side and we're going to go to Stream Deck. And we need to install a plugin here. So we'll go to, we're in uh, Stream Deck version 5, so they have the new store here. We're going to click on plugins. In the search box here, we're going to type MIDI. And it'll be this plugin here that we want to install, MIDI by Trevor Liga Spell. Say install. Just takes a second. And once that's installed, we can close out the store. So next we'll launch Studio One. So once we've launched Studio One, we're going to go to Studio One Options. And you'll see there's some sections along the top here. We'll go to External Devices, click on Add. And we're going to add under Mackie control. In the receive from, we'll select Mackie to DAW, and the send to will be DAW to Mackie. We'll say OK, and we have that one set up. Let's add a second one. This time it's going to be a new keyboard. And our receive from will be stream deck to DAW track. And our send to will be DAW track to stream deck. And click OK. And we'll have both devices now set up. So we'll click OK. And there's one more thing to do in Studio One. Because you've added those two devices, they will appear under external devices here. Let's click on Control the flyout menu there, edit, and we're going to assign commands to these F1 to F8 keys. And how we do that is we right click on a key we want to program, assign command, and in the search field, because there's a, there's a lot of commands here, so we'll just use the search field, and we'll do add audio, and it filters the results for us. We're going to add an audio track mono. That's loaded in there. 
And you'll go through and do the same process for the rest of the F keys. Assign command and you'll enter in and we'll put up on the screen here the rest of the keys F to F8 searching for them and then adding them in in the same way. Once you've got that done you can close up the dialog and we'll go back out to our desktop. Now you'll notice in the folder you downloaded from Sideshow FX there is a MIDI graphics folder. Now inside of this and the, the Windows folder there is a Trevliga spell folder what this has is all of the graphics for the MIDI controls in the Stream Deck profile. And we need to put this in a very specific place. It needs to go into your Documents folder. Now I should point out, if you've installed one of the other packs, you don't need to repeat this process. This Trevliga Spell folder is the same in all of our packs. So if you've done this once, you don't need to do this again. So this folder has to go into our Documents folder. So I'll open that folder up. It will just go straight into the Documents folder. So you click and drag, drop it into Documents, into the root of the Documents folder. I've already got it there, so I don't need to put it there. And the last thing to do is we're going to import our Stream Deck profile itself. So open up our Stream Deck software. We'll click on the gear icon down the bottom to our flyout menu, import, and we'll navigate to our Studio One MIDI controller folder into the Stream Deck Profiles, Windows. You'll see there's two profiles here, one for the XL device and one for the regular 15 key device. So whichever device you're working with, that's the profile you'll enter. So once you've loaded it up, this is what you're going to see. Now you may have noticed back over to our Studio One MIDI controller folder you may have noticed in the Stream Deck Profiles folder here, there is an extra folder called To Copy. Now what's in here are two more profiles, one for the regular 15 key and one for the XL device. Now what these are, they are the exact same thing as what you just imported, however they are packed into just one folder. So I'll show you what it looks like here. So this is it, this is a To Copy profile. It has the exact same profile contained into one folder here. So you can double click that or click it or press the key on the Stream Deck device and it opens up the exact same profile. The reason for having this is I can right click on this in Stream Deck, copy, and I can paste this into any other profile I like. Let's say for example, I have our Studio One Pro profile set and here it is here. I can find an empty key Let's go into File. There's some empty keys here. And if I choose to place it here, I can just click on this empty key, right click and paste. And now I have my Studio One MIDI controller profile inside of my Studio One Pro Profiles package. So it just makes it easier so you wouldn't need to hop from one profile to another all the time. You've packed it inside of a profile that you work a lot in. So that's it, you're all up and running. I encourage you to go and take a look at the orientation video that we've put together that details all the features and functions and how you use them. The link will be in the description below. So as always, thanks so much for downloading the program. We really appreciate you guys joining us on this journey and hopefully they make a difference in your daily workflow and help you to be more creative and more productive. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.